Greetings, everyone, on the Artifish channel. In this video, I will talk about several life simulation models I've been working on lately. The first model is the simplest one. The environment consists of two patches of light of different intensities. For cells appear randomly. Each of them has a photosynthesis gene. The strength of this gene determines how effectively the cell absorbs light energy, transforming it into its mass. Upon reaching a critical mass, the cell divides. Losing mass, the cell dies. Also, the cell dies after living for a certain amount of time. During division, the photosynthesis gene has a chance to mutate randomly. Thus, natural selection will leave the strongest cells alive, and mutations will make them even stronger during reproduction. Eventually, life should occupy all available space for it. The model worked successfully, and it's time to make it more complex. Let's color the cells with the photosynthesis genome green. And also, let's add a probability of parasitic cell appearance, which will be red. The first predator appeared. The parasitism gene allows the cell to extract energy from all non-parasitic cells nearby. We observe how the red ones rapidly began their expansion. New infection foci also appear. It's interesting, will the vegan cells manage to survive? The main mass of greenery is absorbed, parasites face the problem of a lack of food base, so the colony of reds gradually begins to die out. While the greens, at a safe distance from the reds, gradually recover and begin to replenish the population. But the growth of greens manages to start before all parasites have died out, so parasites resume their race. Let's speed up and see if the green colony can cleanse itself or if the parasites will destroy all life. Wow, the photophages managed to cleanse themselves. This suggests that life is capable of resisting infection. But unfortunately, it cannot last long, as the model includes the probability of the birth of red cells. Which happens. The struggle for life resumes. It's a beautiful sight. Reminiscent of the spread of fire in a forest fire. The fire clears vast territories. On the one hand, all life is destroyed. On the other hand, space is created for new life and new mutations. Let's conduct a small experiment. Let's create several light sources separated from each other and see what comes of it. Life has arisen. Parasites appeared immediately, and the race for survival began. The cells even managed to colonize remote areas of the map. Unexpectedly, one of the light patches managed to rid itself of parasites and create a very dense population. But then the first red appears, and the rapid consumption of the food base begins. Which ends in the complete extinction of the area. The surplus of resources led to the complete extinction of life. And a similar thing began to happen in neighboring areas. But the chance of survival remains. Inhabited regions manage to spread their spores to neighboring areas. But life's predators follow it. In the end, complete extinction. Comparing the previous experiment with the current one, it can be concluded that large worlds have a greater potential for establishing a balance of multi-species life, while isolation is doomed to extinction. Let's move on to the third model. In this model, I attempted to combine two genes, photosynthesis and parasitism in one cell. As we can see, the cells have become more diverse, and they obey two rules at once. Cells feed on both light and the energy of neighbors. This model did not show clear results, as in the first model with white cells, developing all genes to the maximum and obtaining a yellow color, the cells became equal. A stable state was established. No drama. Friends, that's all for today. In the next model, I plan to add organic waste deposition on the map when cells die, as well as a gene that will allow these remnants to be consumed, as well as many other ideas that have accumulated a large number. If you enjoy my content, support me on Patreon via the link in the video description, and also like and subscribe to the channel to not miss new experiments.